Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a uh, hundred Chaos Sanctuary runs and the notable loot from that. So I'm just going to show you quickly. I'm running a hammered in. I don't have Enigma yet. These are the pieces I have. You want to check the build out. Perfect. And then my stats are all here. And here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you more or less. Uh, the builds are taking, or sorry, the builds. The runs are taking about four and a half minutes. The brunt of the time is actually getting to the center of the sanctuary because I don't have Enigma. So I have to run through the river and, uh, you know, charge the right way, hopefully. And then I also have to get through the initial part of Chaos to the main center area. That takes a lot of time because sometimes people block the entrances and stuff. So I'm just going to show you. Um, yeah, this is, I think, the 52nd run, but I didn't have sound on for the first 30, so I have to re-record the introduction here, but that's okay. I just want to show you what a basic run looks like, and then I'm going to fast forward uh, to all the deaths of the Diablos, and then I'll show you all the notable loot. Uh, there's been a couple really good things so far. Um, yeah, but I'll leave that as a surprise, so... Okay, perfect. So we're in the center now, so I'll just show you quickly. I always go right. Uh, like I said, I don't have Enigma yet, so there's a little bit of walking. I kill kind of all the big groups. Oh, something hit hard in there. But I don't really worry about the small ones so much. Uh, I'll swap to Redemption just so I don't have to use as many potions. But that's pretty standard. I mean, this isn't a, a, by any means a hammered in, uh, you know, guy that's... A very overpaid class. I'm sure you'll find people who are much better at that than me. I do prefer it to go uh, high magic find with the um, 125 fast cast rate, but other than that, it's it's all pretty standard. So for these, I do have a little strategy. I try to clear this hallway out as much as possible. I'm going to show you why. Uh, this right here is, uh, I think this is Lord C's. Is his name or something like that? He seems to be the most dangerous of the seal bosses um, because he spawns with fanaticism more. So. What I usually do when he comes up is stand right at this corner, I lure them towards me, and then I charge to the wall and back behind him. That way, usually, they're not anywhere near him when he dies, so they lose the aura. And as long as he's dead, then the aura goes away anyways. So that's kind of my strategy for that. There's a big mob here, I'll kill it. Everything is pretty standard with the gear I have. I mean, there's very little threats. Um, but it is hardcore, so I'm always ready to potion just in case. You get something with, you know, extra strong fanaticism or while well, you're cursed, like, that will just absolutely eradicate you. That's kind of why I do always have a uh, shout on, just in case. I definitely don't need it, but it helps a ton. Uh, saves me a lot of potions and a lot of stress, so... The seal will pop. We can kill the homie here. Is this Vizier? Where is he at? What? Did he not spawn? Weird, okay. Guess not. Oh, he's- what? I've never seen him spawn out here. Oh my god. Why is he so far away? Okay, well, we're just gonna suck those bodies up and then we'll come into Diablo. This is a typical run here. It's about the four minute mark, including the intro. So, uh, you know, by the time he's dead and I reload the game and stuff, so we're about four and a half minutes with IDing and everything. We'll swap to the Alibaba for the kill, of course. And there we go, a death mask. Uh, was that Blackthorns? Yeah, Blackthorns face. And the crown is Milibargas. Milibargas. So, nothing useful there, but I just wanted to show you a typical run. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to fast forward the next, or I guess the last 50 kills. I'm going to show you the halfway point where it's the, uh, the gear from 50, and then I'll show you the other 50. So, it's 100 all together.
Okay guys, so we're 50 runs in, and I want to show you the loot we've gotten so far. Um, I've kind of organized it a little bit, this is about halfway, it's just building up my storage, so I'm going to go put this on mules, but before I uh, put it away, I want to show you everything I've found so far. So the most notable is obviously the 29th run, where I killed Diablo and I got this lovely Shaco and this <laughs> Arachnid Satch at the same time. But we're just going to walk through everything quick, so 50 runs in, we've got a Shaco, a Cerebus, uh, these are some nice rare tiaras here. Not perfect, but definitely usable. I mean, two barb skills, mana leech, all res, and magic find. This is obvious I like for just low level leveling, plus one of the skills and dual res. This coronet, same thing, all res, Amazon skills. Not perfect, but it's, you know, good for low level. If I were to find this at the start of the new ladder, before I found a Shaco, or, you know, it's better than a lore, so it's not bad. Uh, this paladin one just interests me. Uh, all res mana per hit, two paladin skill levels, and plus 40% damage to demons. Um, anyways, trying armor, we got Griswolds, a three socket Archon plate, a three socket F Mage plate, which is super cool. We got a Sash, a Gold Wrap, we got a Crendendum, Laying of Hands, IK, Nat Boots, uh, two White Monarchs, and a, it's only plus 28 all res, but uh, it's just a Royal Shield. I'm actually going to make a Rhyme out of this, because right now my Rhyme is in a Spiked Shield, so it's just a little more defense. So that's a nice swap off there. We've got two burning essences and uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 P gems so far. Two bone hues, one is F, so that's actually really nice. It's plus 292 as well, which is a really good roll on it. Uh, not bad. Again, these are just the notable items. There's a lot of stuff I didn't pick up, but this is the stuff I picked up that I'm like, ah, oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Hellrack. I did get a war cry skiller from my bar, which is super nice. That plus the sash brought his BO up a little bit. These are just some nice little uh, uh, resistance terms we got. We got a nice Jade Talon here, Rib Cracker, Demon Limb. Always love this for just like chanting and leveling up new characters. Uh, Chromatic Ire used to be really great. Now it's not so much, but it's still notable. Got a nice little Nagel Ring, 27%. Can't complain about that. Uh, Atmos, which is useless. This nice uh, summon amulet here for druid i wish it was a different type of amulet uh, you know if that was just druid skills and plus four life that would be really good um these are the runes we got nothing notable but yeah so this is halfway through 50 runs in Okay, so for the sake of time and repetition, we're gonna skip the other 32 uh, <laughs> chaos runs there. We did exactly 100, they all look the same, I assure you. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the loot here. Um, we got some good resistance charms here. Uh, this one's nice and standout because it's plus five strength and low level, we love that. Um, I'm not at the point yet where I can do full skiller, so. Yeah, so uh, resistance charms, got some small ones. Five burning essences, which is nice. Uh, about 19 or 20 perfect gems here, a plus 16% enhanced damage with 8 min. Not bad for a low level like Merc item, like I, I think I have right now a 30% in my uh, Duriel shell. So if you get something like that or like uh, um, a Gladiator's Bane that you can sock in and throw something in, I mean enhanced damage gems are always nice for that. Uh, we got Goblin Toe, Alders, Gnats, War Traps. These are 46% and 162 defense, I mean the ones I'm using now are 48% and 160. So. Definitely good, I can definitely sell those. Water walks, which is nice. Uh, Drax gloves, and a couple laying on hands, all great for smiters or melee builds. Ring-wise, we got a dwarf star. This isn't the one we got. I'm actually using a dwarf star, and uh, this is the one we found. We found a perfect one, so I just put mine in here, uh, because, you know, I just capitalized on the extra magic damage reduced until I did the other runs. So we found a perfect dwarf star, couple Nagel rings. This one is uh, the good one, 68 attack rating, 29 magic find. I think that attack rating goes up to 75, so it's not bad at all. Um, this one's a little lower, 65, 22, not good. Runes, really got not much of anything. Uh, one lem, two fouls, and a lum. The rest are just kind of usable stuff for like, you know, orits and tiles for uh, spirits. Okay, weapon wise, we got a Nash, obviously good for teleport. We got a rib cracker, melee druid. Uh, F Bone Snap, good for low level uh, dueling charger pallies. IK, IK, 
We had a Crown of Thieves, great for low-level mercs. Tiles Helm, good for mercs. An F Monarch, good for an offhand swap CTA if you're not using a Monarch on your regular hand, uh, just for the lower strength requirement. A uh, regular Monarch, a uh, Mosers, which is nice. We had a Q Haggins. If I found this at the beginning of the season, uh, before I found a Viper Magi, definitely wouldn't uh, not use it. Plus one skills, 20 cast, very fast hit recovery. Like it's it's nice. Uh, Demon Arch, this is nice for a throw barb. Um, I know it's a very not used build, but I kept it for a buddy who's actually building one, so not a bad thing to look out for if you know somebody who wants something like that. An Alibaba and a Flail. So I mean, hall wise, we did all right. I'll definitely be able to sell some of the stuff and get some good value out of it. The more notable things we found are probably the Drax Gloves, the Arachnid Sash, and the Shaco. And of course the plus one War Cry's uh, Skiller. Those are probably be the more notable. I will use this stuff to try to roll for another Skiller. Um, actually, let's do that right now. Why not? I kept some from Diablo. So, why can't you? Oh yes, and this F Thresher. <laughs> that I put the ingredients in here to try to get a socket. So let's do a couple of this before uh, we, we head out for the day. Two socketed, that's uh, tragic. If that was four, I could use it. Uh, I'm sure you know that. So let's go ahead and try for a skiller, why not? Might as well do a fun little roll at the end here. Nope, plus life. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see, because that'll add to our loot if we can get a skiller from this, right? That counts as, as falling from the uh, chaos runs. I was a little underwhelmed, I will say, with uh, with some of the loot. I mean, the, the Shaco and the Arachnid are great, but uh, not getting any high runes is, is pretty pretty weird for Chaos Run. Um, but I guess it's not cows or sanctuary or something, so... Man. I don't hate the Poison Res. I'll swap that for uh, one of these ones here. Come on, can we get one? Can we get one? No, no skillers. Sorry guys, huge attack rating on that, on that uh, level 41 there though. Anyways, yeah, so that's, uh, that is our, our total haul there. And I hope you enjoyed the video. It took me a little while to put together. Uh, yeah, leave a comment. I'm pretty new to this stuff. So if you guys wanna see anything in particular, I do wanna do some informational stuff like cast rate and hit recovery, you know, certain drop areas and what's better. So I know there's a lot of content, but uh, let me know what you wanna see that somebody else hasn't explained maybe easily to you guys. And uh, I'll make sure to do that. So have a great day and thanks for tuning in.